Hello everyone, it's Paul Stranger back again. We're going to be looking at Springtrap and the new animatronic Nightmare. And we're going to compare them. Now, I'm not the only one that believes that Springtrap and Nightmare are the same models. And some of it's from Dorco and another YouTuber. So, let's do our own little investigation, shall we? So... At first glance, that we know it's very different. First off, those Freddy animatronics, those mini Freddies coming out of the suit, that's very scary. Now, as we can tell, it looks withered, it looks old, it's broken down, and it has a lot of holes. The exoskeleton is exposed, and it's dangerous. But. With Springtrap, he's withered, he's old, and he doesn't have any sharp teeth. Now we can tell by the shoulders, they're probably the same model animatronics. And obviously with that hideous smile and the eye sockets also. Plus with the giant tear at the center of the chest, and many others, we can definitely say that both these animatronics were used as costumes for people. Which is very interesting. That is that. We can also tell that the noses are different, but how become Freddy here, or Nightmare, is brown and Springtrap is green? As we know or predict that both of them were gold. So how become that this animatronic is brown and Springtrap is green? But please know that the purple guy is inside Springtrap, so we could say that the purple guy somehow took off the Springtrap costume and put on this one. We don't know at this time where this game is going to be set. Scott did change the website, he did remove a couple of things. But we still don't know exactly if it's going to be a pizzeria or maybe even a diner or a horror attraction of that. So we could say they look very similar. But the question also is, is the purple guy going to return? He seems to be the main character for Five Nights at Freddy's as he's the main villain as we can say the main threat in the story, but not so much in the game, well, except for Five Nights Free. So we can easily say that Purple Guy could return, and we don't know how many victims he has killed. So even if he did survive, it would be very hard to guess what will happen. We know the five children that are at rest, well, six, actually. But are they really? But the point is that we don't really know. I hope the purple guy does return. And if he does, that'll be great. And maybe the children. But like many others said, we thought it was the end for Five Nights at Freddy's with the third game. Bam! Fourth one confirmed. Slapped ourselves to the face. Now, let's have a look at this image right now. This is Freddy from Five Nights 2. He's holding his hat, he's smiling, he has tears. Now, that's good or all, but if you look at the other image of Freddy, it's doing the same thing. Now, we know this Freddy has three fingers and a thumb, and he's holding his hat. Grand reopening. But... This Freddy has five, well, four fingers and a thumb. I know I did say it was three, but actually if you look very, very carefully, you will see the fourth finger. So, yeah. But these two pictures look identical a bit, but one's made for, pe for a person and one's made for exoskeletons. Which still begs the question. The hat he's holding is rooked and old. And as we know when on the site, we had this image for about a month. And probably in that month or so, or when the game was released, Scott was probably fixing bugs and all sorts. But 
also making the teaser image, or he's already made them and is ready to release them when he thinks it's just right. I think he was he timed it right with the hat disappearing because the only thing different with that image is just here now it's just the hat is not there now as many things go Scott is very clever with his teaser images he's good at hiding messages he did one with Springtrap's na name say with my name is Springtrap he's done well with purple guy he's done well of the shadow characters, the murders, the marionette. There's so many characters that were unannounced. The marionette was one. We did not know what it was until the teaser images. We don't know what this animatronic is until we get a trailer. But we didn't even knew Springtrap existed. Scott is very clever and I think that the kids might return. Purple Guy might return. Springtrap highly unlikely, but if he does return, we could see a different type of game. Now this is going to be until Halloween folks, so Scott has plenty of time to make the game and finish it good. We just have to be very patient, we know the dates are obviously enough we can wait, but yet again Scott could delay it for good reasons, and he's done so. But really that said, what do you think guys? Do you think Purple Guy and Springtrap might return? And do you think it's actually them? Also, what do you know about these secret messages that Scott's released? Because I know some, and obviously, he's a very clever man. Not even joking. And what, was it 10 months since the first game was released? Yeah. But I think it's good Scott is spacing them out. With that really said, thank you for watching, subscribe for more Five Nights at Freddy's, also do you like my new avatar?